boy, am I tired. I've been on my feet for two months now. I'm sorry. I thought it would help when we switched legs yesterday. <laughs> it didn't. Your feet are killing me. I don't know how you stand the pain. It's in my blood. My father was a cigar store Indian. Oops. I think I hear those two bozo maintenance men coming. Oh, no, not the ones with the cold hands. Say, you better freeze or we're going to lose our jobs. Thanks. And we finish this one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, be careful with those dresses, buddy, huh? Yeah. They're 1500 bucks a piece. You wow! Know. Hey, you believe that, huh? Yeah. Who could ever afford or want to buy a dress like that, huh? Well, I have a rich Uncle Louie who's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know something? They really look like they were alive. Hey, watch this. You can do anything with them, huh? <laughs> hey, you can. You're right. Let's see. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> hey, put a cigar in there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What does that look like, huh? What does that look like, huh? What would you say that looks like, huh? That looks like my weird Uncle Louie. <laughs> hey, what do you call that? High fashion? Yeah. You gotta be high to call that fashion. <laughs> hey, what's this here? Hey, I found an extra pin. Oh, yeah. Well, you better put that where nobody will get hurt. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, I think we're finished. Hey, let's go down into the lingerie department. My Uncle Louie's got a birthday coming up. Come on, Uncle Louie. Wow, those guys really do have cold hands. <laughs> Not to mention cheap cigars. Sometimes it isn't easy being a mannequin. But you do get to wear expensive clothes and do absolutely nothing. True. It's sort of like being a congressman. But what really bothers me is that every time someone gets popular on TV, they mold us to look like them. I know. This month, I'm that dizzy blonde from Charlie's Angels. You know her name? Farrah something. Fawcett. Right. I knew it had something to do with being a drip. Well, at least you are the prettiest girl on that show. Oh, really? I don't think so. You must get poor reception. But look at me. They made me look like that girl who does comedy with that little goofy partner. Oh, right. Which one are you, Laverne or Shirley? <laughs> No, I'm supposed to be Cher, the one that works with Sonny. Oh, yes. Well, for sure, you're the prettiest one on that show. I just hate being that fair girl. This hair weighs a ton. That's nothing. How would you like to lug around this nose for two months? <laughs> Last year, I was molded into a TV star who had a much bigger chest than Cher. Really? Who? Beretta. Hey, hurry back into position. They're coming back. Who had the cigar? Hey. Well, a lot of work to be done. Oh, no. I told what? you I was right. What, what, what? We did make a mistake. You see, the purple dress goes on the blonde and the pink dress goes on the brunette. <laughs> We have to strip them completely. There we go. Okay, how do you unhook these things anyway? It's easy. Just pretend you're in the back seat of a 57 DeSoto. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Herbie. I got an idea. We don't have to strip them down at all. All we have to do is switch their heads. 